So I'm here at the Taoyuan International Airport and I just saw the most amazing exhibit on the wall from the Pingling Tea Museum. It looked absolutely gorgeous. So I really want to go there and check that out. Let's go. Good morning everybody, my name is Wes Davies, welcome back to my channel and yet another special video that I have planned for you today. I have actually come up to Ping Ling, New Taipei City and I am so excited to be here checking out this absolutely gorgeous tea museum today. Okay, so we are in the first building here in the Ping Ling Tea Museum and so far it has been really, really cool. This table you can see in front of me, this is where I can actually pick up many, many different varieties of tea. It all smells really good. And you can pick up these little information placards and actually take it over to this machine and then an information booklet will pop up on the screen. And you can learn all about it, both in English and Chinese. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out which one of these different varieties of teas I prefer. So, I'm just gonna choose one here. Okay, nice and earthy. I like it. Mmm, this one almost smells a little bit like hong cha, red tea. Ooh, I really like this one. This one just smells like that beautiful kind of mountain oolong tea. Ali San Zhu Lu Cha. Okay. <laughs> So I have chosen the Ali Shan High Mountain Tea, which I know is very, very famous in Taiwan. At this point, one of the friendly museum staff was kind enough to show us around, explaining the various tea production methods and machinery used throughout the years. Then we had lots of fun at the interactive game center. I feel like a ghost. Am I doing okay? Yeah. Wow! That was so cool. You are a pro at this. Thank you. Is that what it says? Yes, it is. Awesome. Eh. Ooh, perfect. 98%? It says perfect. Okay. I think I found my new calling. I'm going to move into the mountains of Jai and become a tea farmer. All right, I'm just having so much fun playing with all these games. They're actually meant for kids but I think we're all young at heart, right? It's just really cool being in this museum and seeing all this history laid out right in front of you. I've learned so much about tea just from being in this one room, so I can't wait to continue exploring this museum and see what else we can find here. We have made it here to the exhibition hall and I cannot wait to come in here and check this out. So right now the exhibition is called The Grand Tour of Tea and this just sort of walks you through the entire history from tea's humble beginnings in China and how it spread throughout the world through India, Japan, and even into Europe throughout the ages. And if you notice, there's these tiny little booklets, beautiful booklets, hand folded by the staff, actually. And each one is in a different language. So I've chosen the English language version. And you can see there is a whole write-up, all the information you need to know about this exhibition. So let's go check this out. I can't wait to keep learning about tea today. This has been so much fun so far. As part of this exhibition here at the Pingling Tea Museum, they've actually borrowed numerous ancient artifacts from the National Museum of History of Taiwan. So I'm just gonna keep on checking this out. They have all these little placards. Luckily, everything is bilingual, so I am able to read it and learn more about the tea culture here in Taiwan. So one of my favorite aspects about this exhibition today has been learning about this man, Robert Fortune. He's from the UK, but many attribute him to actually actually helping to spread the knowledge and production of tea throughout the entire world. So back in ancient times, one of the most famous steps of the tea production process was actually manually removing all of these hard little stems because if your tea was full of little stems like that, it was just considered poor quality tea. So I just came outside the tea museum. I wanted to take a little walk after lunch, and wow, this place is absolutely gorgeous. I'm literally right outside of the tea museum, just came down the steps, 
and look what you can see here. All right, so after my little walk there, I just decided to come back here to the beautiful, beautiful garden that is right here behind the tea museum. I've just really been enjoying walking around back here, taking pictures of the waterfall, the beautiful paths, the trees, the moss-covered rocks. I think this is honestly one of the most peaceful and serene places I've seen in Taiwan for a very long time. Okay, our nice leisurely break time is over. I'm gonna head back inside and keep learning more about this Pingling Tea Museum. Can't wait to see what other things we learn today. It's funny, all my friends from Taipei say that it's so cold and so rainy up here, but every time I come up, it is so gorgeous. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm gonna come and check out this next part of the museum. Wow, look at this. I actually thought this was another exhibit, but I just learned that this is the gift shop. I mean, it looks so beautiful. Every little glass case is designed so well, and it's full of little interesting cups and glasses and these beautiful different kinds of tea that I just thought this was another exhibit area. So I'm gonna check it out and maybe even pick something special up for my friends and family back home in Canada. So this next part of the exhibit is called the Tea Laboratory, and I just took a peek around the corner. It looks really, really interesting. So the whole point of this part of the exhibit is to explore our body's relationship with tea. So if we go over here, check this next part out, you're gonna see this incredible tea laboratory. So first up, we have the vision portion of this exhibit, and right away, it is a feast for the eyes. There are just so many things to look at here. There are magnifying glasses, there are tiny little petri dishes, there are flasks, there are beakers, there are scales. I think I could just spend all day at this table exploring and looking around, but let's go check out the next section. That is so cool. So this is the smell portion of the tour, and you can see the wall is just lined with these glass containers full of tea and different flavorings. So you can come up here and squeeze these little balls and just literally smell the tea. Mmm. We spent more time exploring the amazingly entertaining tea laboratory. I couldn't believe how much fun we had interacting with all the learning stations as we kept learning about the tea culture of Taiwan. Yeah, voila, you can see all the different kinds of tea. All right, everybody, finished up here at the Tea Museum, and honestly, I have to say, it was so much more interesting than I thought it would be. I didn't really know that much about Taiwan's tea culture, but this museum did a great job of making everything interesting and entertaining and even kind of modern and fun for the kids. If you are up here in Pingling, you should definitely check out this Tea Museum. I will put the links to all the information right down below, but I think we're pretty much finished today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.